everybody. Good morning. Welcome to a special edition of Title Talk. We are obviously outside of our office. We are coming from our family to yours. Again, I'm uh, as always, I'm your host, Drew, with Inspired Title. And I'm the co-host, Amy, with Inspired Title. It is really, really awesome to, uh, to have you guys here with us today on uh, a great Thanksgiving 2020. And uh, we, are, we are so very thankful for so many mm -hmm. things. Um, I think this week has been a really, really this, great week. This week's been huge for us. Yeah, so. I think we did, a, did a, some really great things. Very busy week. Yeah. We're, we're excited to share some of those stories. We have some special guests that we we're do. excited to uh, bring on and, and just share some, some good time and uh, maybe bring some, some Thanksgiving cheer to you guys this, uh, this holiday season. So uh, why don't we tell them a little bit about what we did yeah, just this week? Yeah, yesterday was big for us. Um, so, we just, so, <laughs> so we decided um, a couple weeks ago when Drew and I were talking, we kind of were talking about what Inspired Title is and what Inspired Development is and like the word Inspired. So um, this month was our first give back. We're yeah. calling it the Inspired Give Back. And uh, we were able to, I don't know if anybody caught the little bit of a, we had a short little snippet yeah. yesterday. That, yeah, um, it was great. Courtney kind of took the project head on and um, Pillars is where she used to work. Right, and right. They work with a couple families in need there, and so she was able to get um, get some good communication going, yeah, and we yep. put together five bags of, like, a dinner. Full five, meals. Full yeah. meals for five families that are in need. Um, so that was, like, our first give back, and I think that it, it hit us in a different way than I expected it to. It really it, did. It was, more, um, it was more emotional than I thought it was going to be. And, and I think that the reason behind that is because of just you know, what we're up against with 2020, yeah. the COVID things and, and the difficulties that this year has, has brought on. And, you know, because we were talking about like food pantries we're, and yeah. like that stuff's not really something that's an option in no. 2020. No. So uh, we kind of went about it the back roads way and kind of found a different way to make it work. Yeah, it was, it was really, it was really special. Our, you know, the whole team kind of got together and we, we went ahead and uh, put together five, like Amy said, five meals for families. And so when you guys were sitting at your Thanksgiving table today, sharing you know what you guys are thankful for remember there there are so many people so many people out there right now that are are struggling and um not only because of the pandemic just you know mainly because of, because of regular day everyday yeah. life and um you know inspired title has really set a uh, a goal mm -hmm. for 2021 that we are going to be doing a lot more of the giving back and sharing with our um our community. Yeah, because we're, we're exciting. lucky enough to be a little bit busy. <laughs> We've been, um, yeah. we're blessed to have this pandemic really hasn't affected our day to day business. It's made us really busy, actually. So because we're so thankful and so blessed to be as busy as we are, we decided we're going to yeah. do something for people that need it. No, I think it's great. And uh, we're, uh, we're, we're kind of humbled by this. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I hope you guys are, are being safe and, and taking care of yourselves and your family and not getting out there and spreading the uh, the holiday cheer with too many families and friends and mm -hmm. kind of take a year and just do it quietly. And, uh, yeah. you know, we're usually in New York at this time, yeah. so it's kind of, you know, odd for, for Carol and I to be home. Know, be home. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we're watching the, the Macy's Day Parade on TV, and it's even just weird to watch that. It's playing in the background as, as we sit here, and it's just very weird to see that there's nobody out there. I mean, last yeah. year we were actually sitting there in one of the grandstands, and you know, there's there's you know seven eight hundred thousand people that go out there. That's I mean, crazy. it's it's a that stupid number. So, yeah. um, but again, we thank you for joining us on the uh, the holiday, mm -hmm. and uh, we have some very special guests, right? Some that, things we're thankful for. Yeah, some very <laughs> some... things we're we're thankful for. <laughs> Amy, you want to you want to do that? You want to do that? Little... Um, yeah. So today, joining us, we have both. We have a husband and a wife here. Yes. We, have... <laughs> we do. We have um, a husband and a wife. We have a husband and a wife. It's so cool to say our spouses. So um, we have Joe and Carol here with us today. Yay! Joe and Carol, come on out. <laughs> Joe is the guy with the hat. Pilgrim, Ooh, Joe. Pilgrim, Pilgrim Joe. We like to call him Pilgrim Joe. <laughs> And Carol has got the beautiful sweater and wonderful hat on. And by the way, all these hats are compliments of uh, my beautiful wife, Carol. God, hers is really cute, and I think mine's thing. very cute in a very different way. Yeah, I we, really like the legs. Thank really you guys excited. for coming on out here. This is great. <laughs> Thanks this is, for having us. This is really us. good to, to you know share our our title talk with our family, and um, I think it it was something that we really wanted to do. It was very important for us to uh, you know show the audience a little bit more about us and, and mm -hmm. who we are. So. 
Um, and what we're really thankful for. Really, what we're thankful <laughs> for is, is really each other. And, and this is this is what kind of keeps us going every day. You know, we are we spend a lot of time at the office together and, and out in the, the field together. But literally, when you guys, you know, we come home and, and you guys are really the, the rock behind kind of what we do. So we're, we're thankful for that. And uh, um, we just wanted to kind of appreciate you guys a little bit. So with that being said, we're going to go through our little typical title, title talk, talk day. And so keeping also going into, you know, the, the talk of what we are as a title company, still wanting to share some title company knowledge and, and some conversations about what Inspire Title is and who we are and what we do. I think we're going to talk a little bit about some uh, title insurance stories. Mm -hmm. um, I, and I, I think that it's something that really was, was close to home for us this season. Um, we just recently had a couple situations. So we wanted to share a little story with you about a mortgage and recording and some circumstances and consequences that kind of went around. Yeah, two that. in a week. That yeah, literally two in a week. So that's different, we, yeah, two, two different situations. But um, so I was doing. We've been doing a lot of refis. We've been talking about, and um, so this one I was working on the other day, the the property had no mortgage recorded against it, so they were refinancing nothing. Is what it looked right. like, you know, on the surface of things. So then I did a little more sleuthing, did a little more looking, did a name search of these people, and it popped, like a mortgage popped up that was recorded somewhere else. So I found it on their names, but it was recorded under the wrong property index. It was recorded with the wrong legal description. It was recorded with the wrong signature page. Yeah. So realistically, the only thing tying this mortgage to this property was the people's names. Right. So that was like, you know, and it's, we keep saying we're so busy, we're so busy, we're so busy. And that's like one of the things that's really easy to, you know. Overlook. To overlook. Right. Um, right. But that's one of those things where, you no, know, I had to reach out to the underwriter. I'm like, yeah, what do you want us to do? Like, how do I do this? And you know, after a lot of back and forth, he was like, well, since you're paying it off, I guess it's okay. But you know, in the in the grand scheme of things, it shouldn't be okay because how is that mortgage actually like? How is it their responsibility yeah. if it's not yeah. tied to their property or anything at all? And really, the the owner of that property would never know because they don't actually get a copy of the recorded mortgage. As we know, it goes right. back to, it the goes lender. to the lender. To the lender, so, yeah. You know, you get a copy of it at the time of closing mm -hmm. or when you refinance, you get the top. But, you know, do you think of ever looking at those documents? Of course not. Not really. However, in this circumstance that Amy describes, it's it's amazing that nothing was applicable to the property that they were leaning. Nothing. When I say leaning, you know, they, they were encumbering that property with that mortgage and saying that it's, it's, it's a lien against that property. Well, according to what we saw... It doesn't really appear that that's there. So that was a really weird one. There's legitimacy to saying that if they didn't pay their mortgage or that they were going to get foreclosed on, they'd have a fight in their hands to to really be bringing that thing and making that thing good title. Right, so. and that was in Kendall County, so like they didn't even have an anti pred tie to it or anything. Nothing. So it was just no, no. And mine is my story is similar to that. We have a, uh, a a very good attorney friend and agent of ours who is who asked a unique question, and that question was that. He wanted to know if we re-record the mortgage, does it fall out of the first lien position? Well, that has so many different variables to it and so many different follow-up questions that I needed to kind of, you know, dive through. But after kind of picking this apart with him a little bit, the mortgage description, similar to what Amy described in the one uh, of hers, the house was on the middle of two lots. So it was it was two lots that were adjoined. Mm -hmm. And the house occupied both lots. The legal description on the mortgage said it was only for one individual lot. The PIN was for, property index number, was only for one lot. It did not depict both of them. So he wanted to go ahead and re-record it. And in the, in the state of Illinois, the, the, the law states that it's first in, first out. So if that mortgage was to get re-recorded, it comes out of that first lien position. So if there's a lien recorded, which is huge, that means like any judgment, any it like becomes lien, first. Yeah, it would be first over the mortgage, yep. which is and scary. what makes it more scary is that it was being foreclosed on. So that's why that's he wanted to ask situation. that question was because he wanted to make sure that his mortgage had first lien position because if they foreclose on it and he's not in that first lien position, they lose. You forgot the most important first question. Do you have any record of doing anything on on this property? Was the first question he right. sent me, and I'm like, Crap, right. What like what happened? What's wrong? What do we? And, and I was like, nope. Why do you think I, he was asking you that, Amy? 
because he wanted to see if it would be a title insurance claim. Right. Whether, you know, we let this mortgage go through being recorded under. Correct. You know, incorrectly. So I was, I searched every email. I searched every program we have. And I was like, thank God. Nope. Yep. I have never touched, <laughs> looked, or seen this property in my life. So. And what's, what goes further with that is we found out that not only did we not do it, thankfully, but nobody did it. That mortgage was never not insured. insured so, I mean, it, as much as it was ripe for a title claim, it was not insurable. It was not insured. So guess what? There's The loss goes all the way back to the individual, like the, the attorney or whoever actually yeah. facilitated that transaction. So the, the title insurance policy would have absolutely taken care of mm -hmm. that claim. But if there's no title insurance in place for that, that's a, I think that was a, a, a two or three hundred thousand dollar mortgage. It was, yeah. I mean, that's a, Ouch. that's a direct hit. So this hit. is why you need title insurance, where people right. that always ask. It, it, I mean, that is a story that we, we talk about all the time. And, you know, as Amy alluded to earlier, we went ahead and did all of our little due diligence going, mm -hmm. did we drop the ball? Did we ever do this deal? What happened? To find out, thankfully, not thankfully, but thankfully that we didn't. So, but now how can we help our, our attorney and how can we help our family of, you know, client base, et cetera. And, you know, it's it's a, a pretty snarky situation. So yeah. uh, stay tuned. We'll let you know what uh, what comes of that mess. So, um, yeah. yeah, not try to, you know, not try to scare you guys on a Thanksgiving, but those those realities are out there. Those things are, are certainly something that can happen. It was just weird that it was two in a week. So yeah. we figured that was like our, yeah. our hand wave to, that we should mention it too, since it happened twice in a week. Absolutely. So that is our wonderful if you're still awake after all of our blabbering for, over mortgages. Yeah, for a Thanksgiving morning. <laughs> and uh, we thank you for listening to that. So, guys, on, on that note, I think we're going we're gonna to wrap this up. And we, we absolutely thank you for uh, joining us on our special edition on Thanksgiving 2020 to allow us the opportunity to come into your homes and share some stories with you. Um, as always, please subscribe, like, follow us. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all that it's fun all social, over our media, social media. We are we are trying to just really get out there in the marketplace. Um, if there's anybody you know that needs some some title help and is buying selling their home, send them our direction. Mm -hmm. If you guys have questions, if you guys want to be a part of this, if there's things that you want to uh, suggest for some of the inspired title gives back, contact us. We're mm -hmm. we're all about the people and listening to uh, what you guys have for us. So um, until next week. I am Drew with Inspired Title. And I'm Amy with Inspired Title. And we're thankful for our loving spouses. And uh, thank you guys for, for being here and Thanks, joining us. Thanks, guys. This happy Thanksgiving, awesome. everybody. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Enjoy. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. And go. <laughs> <laughs>